If you get a tie, both teams feel like they lost. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's like kissing your sister. We didn't lose. We just tied, and I'm having a hard time with it. <laughs> was the Lafayette Lehigh game. Uh, what made it that much more spectacular obviously was that it was the hundredth and you must understand unfortunately neither team okay was outstanding that year so it became even more important that if you win that game you could salvage your season and we knew that Lafayette was not a good team. We thought we were better <laughs> of course and it, it turned out that at the beginning of the game we were better. I'm not sure how we got the ball, but we got the ball back rather quickly and about the middle of the field. And we went down and scored a touchdown. And it was like, wow, this is easy. So I scored the first touchdown and we did not make the extra point. So it was six nothing. And then uh, after a couple exchanges, Lafayette came back and they scored a touchdown too, but they failed to convert on the extra point, which not too many people talk about. And then the in the second half, it was kind of, exchanging offenses for a while until finally near the end of the game they actually got to the five yard line and we put up a uh, a goal line stand i mean the team did just a fantastic job uh, lost in the shuffle of the whole thing was the fact of why we were playing and that is that it was the most continuous rivalry in the nation up until that point at any level of college football so you know that made it something but at the same time uh there was a lot of hoopla it's all in the papers, it's all over television, and, you know, and it ends up in a 6-6 six, six tie. So, you know, it's the air was taken out of the bubble, I guess is the way to put it. Well, when you play football, you're always getting psyched up for the game. It's, it's not something you, you just naturally are, but this was a big game. It was supposed to be on TV, but Lehigh and Lafayette were so bad that year that they canceled it. So we didn't get on TV. <laughs> But we knew it was a, that there was some coverage and there was some write-ups in the papers. It was fun to play. I mean, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't go to play football. I went to get an education. My emotion about the, um, the, the 100th game and actually playing football at Lehigh is that it was a lot of fun. And that's kind of my memory of it. It's a personal game and it's a team game. One player can foul up all the rest of the players and it's very easy to do. And uh, everybody has to play together. And uh, I learned a lot playing football. Not a huge school, okay, not a huge league, but important enough to suddenly, you know, the ball is in the NCAA Hall of Fame in uh, South Bend, Indiana, and it was just an honor to be a part of the whole, whole tradition.